Whether you operate one forklift or thousands, one location or hundreds, the new My Toyota customer portal can help you optimize your operation and material handling equipment. This one-stop, free-to-use platform is designed to help you take control of your information and make smarter decisions, all at the touch of a button. Register and access your data today at my.toyotaforklift.com. That's my.toyotaforklift.com. The New Warehouse Podcast, hosted by Kevin Lawton, is your source for insights and ideas from the distribution, transportation, and logistics industry. A new episode every Monday morning brings you the latest from industry experts and thought leaders. And now, here's Kevin. Hey, it's Kevin with the New Warehouse Podcast, and I am here in the Maersk uh, Podcast Studio at Manifest on day two, and I am joined by Brian Gaunt, who is the VP of Accelerated Digitalization at DHL Supply Chain. DHL Supply Chain, a big sponsor here at at Manifest. And we're going to talk to Brian a little bit about what he does over at DHL, and we're also going to talk about orchestration overall, as that's a main focus for DHL this year, 2024. So, Brian, welcome to uh, this uh, podcast studio here, uh, whatever we want to call this. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, absolutely. So we're here at Manifest, so why don't we kind of get a little feedback from you? How's the show going for you? How are things? show is great. Really, I think Manifest is coming to its own, Mm. almost doubling the size this year. I think it's it's a great mix from a supply chain perspective on kind of bringing the combination of established providers as well as right. the new providers to the mix as well. So I think it's a nice nice mix of both sides of the house. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that's a, a good way to put it too because there are like established providers here, like you said, like you, yourself, right? DHL is a big sponsor here, but then also a lot of love for the startups too, say, and the, the new innovations coming out. Uh, I'm curious, I mean, you guys, DHL has a big presence at a lot of the main, you know, logistics, supply chain, material handling, trade shows. I mean, when you come to a, a show like this, I mean, I mean, what are you guys looking for? What, what are you trying to see and what are you trying to accomplish? Yeah, I think it's a few different sides of things. One is, you know, we want to get out there in the interest, industry and share what we're doing. Um, we have a lot to be proud of and want to share that with the broader community. Um, the other side is, you know, connect with the new startups that are coming, seeing mm-hmm. what's latest on the market. Um, the other piece is we have a lot of our customers that come here as well. So gives us a nice area to reconnect with with our customers as well. So it's really hitting a lot of different pieces for us. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's such a great place to connect. I mean, I think they've done a fantastic job, right, of of facilitating that in in a way through the app and and different means. So, so, I mean, as you're here at the the show and we're uh, day two, I guess more than halfway through, so we can say we're almost done in a sense, you know, everybody's anticipating Neo maybe. Um, But (laughs) uh, so why don't you tell us kind of a little bit about what you're seeing maybe that's caught your eye, whether it's here at Manifest or or just kind of in the market in general in 2024? Yeah, I think, you know, definitely some emerging trends that are growing, the advancements in neural networks Mm. and, you know, generative AI are really exciting spaces for us. You know, we've really leaned into heavily the last few years, our data analytics uh, type Mm. of item. And and we've seen a lot of vendors here utilizing data in interesting ways. So I think there's a lot of power to taking advantage of all the different connections you have with the different systems. So Mm. that is quite interesting. You know, supply chain continues to have a lot of investment and a lot of interesting, you know, different components coming out of it. The robotics um, solutions are continuing to advance and, you know, able to do more things, which is Mm. uh, which is exciting for us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and obviously, you guys are big. Big uh, proponent of the, the automation robotics, as we see, you know, multiple partnerships, and one of the maybe I, I think maybe the biggest uh, customer of Locus potentially, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> lots of lots of Locus bots out there That's in DHL buildings. Right? Yeah, we have uh, over three thousand Locus wow. bots globally. Yeah. So yeah, 
yeah. a key yeah. partnership there. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, you guys are, are very focused on innovation and, and staying on, on top of, you know, the newest technology and, and being able to do those things. But you mentioned data in there, right, which is such a, a core thing, I think, to, to make all those things work and make all those things happen. I mean, data is really kind of that underlying sense, right, and, and making sure not just any data, but correct data, good data, right, we like to say, clean data, I think. So tell us a little bit about kind of how you interact with that data and, you know, maybe from the, the digitalization portion too as well, which is kind of your, your focus, how that kind of comes into play when you look at your, your network overall. Yeah, big question because there's a lot of connection points. Um, <laughs> from a data perspective, you know, everything we touch, you know, generates output. So you know, being organized and how to capture that to get the best advantage out of it is mm -hmm. absolutely critical. So, you know, our warehouses are still a mix of automation, but we still have manual tasks in there. Our mm -hmm. people in our warehouse are our most important asset. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're providing types of tasks to make the person in the warehouse the most efficient as possible. Mm. So we've been able to take data components, not only from the individuals and associates working in our warehouse, but from the automation. So one of the great things about automation is it's really good at tracking what it does. So yeah. we can get very predictable productivity results coming out of those types of solutions that overall from a data perspective helps us better forecast and plan our day and optimize the throughput of the warehouse. As you know, uh, the warehouse environment is quite dynamic. Although we, you know, we work to get forecasts and things, you know, from a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, there can be ebb and flows. So understanding the, the true output of your warehouse is absolutely critical so you can have it right sized and right resourced to meet those KPIs, those mm. critical cutoff points for the shipping. So that has come a long way. Uh, I yeah. would say we've made tremendous advancements in that space over the past two years and continue to have a lot of exciting work underway where we run different machine learning solutions to analyze the data and do predictive analysis based on it. And there's a lot of great tools coming out to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's so, I mean, even as we see kind of the ever increasing robotics, automation solutions that are coming out on the market, I mean, we see them here on the, the floor at Manifest and, you know, we have Modex in a month and I'm sure they're going to be everywhere, right? Yeah. But at the core and at that key function, like you said, I mean, it's being able to have that, that visibility and that, that data to make sure you're doing the, the right thing for, for the people um, that are still in the warehouse and working and, and being able to get the right outputs at the end of the day for the, the ultimate customer who's going to receive that product, whoever that may be, you know, to have that best customer experience. And, and a lot of that kind of comes back to the idea of orchestration overall, right? right? And having that data and, like you said, all these connection points kind of communicating together, having that flow. So tell us a little bit about this orchestration project and, and focus that you're having on it in 2024. Yeah, so... Connecting in the data is definitely a key part of that. You know, orchestration overall or supply chain orchestration as we look at it is really optimizing that full end-to-end -end visibility mm. uh, from the point of manufacture to um, those raw materials or those finished products arriving from the manufacturer into the warehouse and then distributing out and tracking to our end customer. So orchestration takes a few different angles. One is complete visibility to everything mm. in the supply chain. So we have some fantastic visibility tools that allows us and our customers to have complete transparency of their products from beginning to end. So I think that is quite helpful for planning purposes. Also within the Four Walls Warehouse, orchestration utilizes the data and data analytics that we, mm -hmm. that we just spoke about to optimize the day and optimize the week and optimize the month. So, you know, we talk about the warehouse being in harmony and harmonizing the, yeah. how the processes work, and um, that's quite important. And the only way to do that is just to really understand your business. And, you know, even when we drop in automation, there's often touch points between uh, a manual process and an automated process, and really understanding how to best link those in. Uh, robotics can be kind of complicated at times, yeah. and, and, and <laughs> trying to smooth that out to put them in the best, best, best position to be successful is important. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's such a, a key point there. Like you said, the robotics can be a little tricky at, at times, right? But I, I think it's important too to be able to figure out how do you create that that harmony, as you said, right? And I, I think it's such a, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. As, to outsiders of the warehouse world, like you wouldn't think, you know, there's harmony and all these things happening in, in the warehouse. But when all those things are kind of moving together in, in unison, um, in that, that harmony that you mentioned and that overall kind of orchestration, it's, it, it is a beautiful thing to see because everything just kind of flows the way it's supposed to. You know, you have minimal exceptions and disruptions and, you know, that's uh, to warehouse people, that's like uh, the dream. Right, basically. That's right. <laughs> right. Um, so, I, I mean, how are you kind of looking at maybe technology in you know this year and, and going into the next couple years? Um, how are you approaching that to be able to make sure it fits into this idea of the overall orchestration? Yeah, a couple, probably two fronts. One is continue to refine how we utilize the data, mm-hmm. and that is ever evolving. I think we're in a really good spot, you know, going into 2024 with that. But also, as solution providers, such as it manifests here, mm-hmm. can you to introduce new solutions? We're continuing to look at the use, the, the workflow within the warehouse as a series of different kind of use cases to solve. And uh, we're going to continue to drop in more solutions to automate it. And this is quite important to us. Not only does it make our warehouse more efficient, but a lot of these um, automation solutions that we put in really help our associate. So it makes mm-hmm. it a more appealing location to work because they get to work around robotics and automation, which offers them some exciting career opportunities, as well as, you know, these uh, robotic solutions do a lot of the tasks that the person really doesn't want to do. Nobody wants to unload a box in a hot trailer or cold trailer. So if we're able to put a piece of equipment in there to do that and allow that person to do something else, a much better fit for a person uh, versus doing that type of task. Those are, those are, those are wins for us, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's such a, an interesting point because, you know, there, there has been over you know, the last several years conversation around the robotics, automation, taking away jobs and, you know, things like that. But I, I think it's such a key point there. Like you said, it's like about putting those solutions in place that are going to, you know, enable your workers to have a better experience, have a better, you know, more healthier, safer experience too. Like you said, you know, no one wants to be in a hot container. No one wants to be a cold container. I don't think... Anybody wants to be in any container uh, (laughs) at any point, right? And that's a a tough job, arguably one of the hardest jobs in the warehouse process, I would say, especially those floor-loaded containers can be a bear, right? Um, So so it's great to uh, look at that. And and I'm curious because I know, and we were talking before, I've worked with DHL before in my past, and, and, you know, it was always very interesting how well you treated the the worker and and were concerned about that within the, the facility that I was in. And... I'm curious, like, how do you look at that and how do you make sure that that culture is still continuing on, especially when you have so many buildings, too? Yeah, I, I think, you know, our, like I mentioned, you know, our connection with our associate team, that's the strength in our company. Yeah. You know, we bring, as DHL supply chain, you know, a lot of people can go buy some of these tools, but not unlike a craftsman. You know, you can go buy a particular tool, but really understanding and refining it takes yeah. a, an, an, another level of expertise. We have that experience in DHL, or a global organization, well-connected, all around other regions to taking best practices and bringing those forward and sharing those broadly across all our warehouses. Mm-hmm. So this continuous improvement effort that we're able to gather just from a share scales uh, perspective is quite important. But back to your question, culture and our associates are absolutely the most important. Safety of our associates, yeah. by far, always number one. But, you know, we provide a great working environment. We connect with our associates. Everyone has a voice and a feedback. We have awesome career growth opportunities, yeah. you know, with their scale. There's lots of opportunities for associates to kind of move and follow their, their heart and path to do different things. So, you know, that's part of, I think, being successful. And what makes us successful is, is building that culture. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think to go back to the, the harmony point as well, you know, if you have the, the happy employees, that's going to create a more harmonious vibes too as well, right, in the, in the space. Right. So so very interesting uh, to connect with you, Brian, and, and talk about these things. I mean, it, it's really a great uh, insight always to, to check in with DHL and, and learn what you guys are up to and what you're focused on. I think it's a, a good insight and a, and a peek into, you know, one of the top providers out there to see what you guys are doing and get some good takeaways there. So I really appreciate you uh, joining me here in this, this podcast studio at Manifest. If people want to learn more about DHL or, or see what you guys are up to, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, reach out to us. If you, if you don't already have connections within the DHL supply chain, you know, mm-hmm. utilize those connections. Go to our website, DHL.com. We're happy to connect with anyone to, to kind of share what we're doing. And, you know, we've got a lot of excellent things going on here and and really proud of it. So thank you. All right. Fantastic. And we'll definitely put all that information at thenewwarehouse.com as well so people can easily find it. So thank you once again to Brian Gaunt for joining me on today's show. You've been listening to the New Warehouse Podcast with Kevin Latte. Subscribe and check us out online at thenewwarehouse.com. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want more content from the new warehouse, check out our new video series called All Hands on LinkedIn. Just search for the new warehouse on LinkedIn and follow along.